So let's say you want to make a Zoom meeting, but you want to make it a little bit more difficult for students to share that link and other information. I'm going to show you a way you can do that in Canvas that will be a little bit easier for you. So if we're on Zoom on their homepage, we're going to go to schedule a meeting. And a little trick here is if I make my meeting set up so that it reoccurs, but don't give it a specific date, that'll make it so I can start and stop it whenever I want. And it won't just disappear from my timeline. So I'm going to call this one test because this is a test for me. And again, I can go through and say when I want this to happen. Or if I click recurring meeting here, and then down in recurrence, I can actually set that to no fixed time. So no fixed time will give me the ability to open it whenever I want without having it show up on my calendar every day, every week, or every month. So that no fixed time gives me this option. Now, you can set up a passcode so that students can get in, but honestly, if they're sharing the link to your Zoom meeting, they're gonna be able to share the passcode anyway. So we are gonna go ahead and leave the waiting room on and I want to turn on video for both host and participant. We will mute participants upon entry. This will include anyone who comes in, even if you don't know who they are or if you do know who they are, and this will set that up. Now, if you are doing this for class, you do want to make sure you're recording those videos for viability purposes. So automatically record meetings is probably a good one to click. I don't like recording that first few seconds while I check myself in the camera. So I'm going to leave that off and turn it on myself. Now I'm going to click save. This will generate my new meeting. So here, you can copy the invitation to the meeting, but it doesn't let you copy the link specifically. So what I'm going to do is highlight over my whole link and then either right click or hit control C and copy that meeting link. So this is now my URL that I will give to my students. So if I go back to my Canvas page, here's my nice little home page that I have set up. So if I click edit, I'm going to insert this link and I'm going to show you a couple different ways you can do that. So first off, we are going to just put in text. I put in Zoom link. Now if I highlight any text that I have, I can then click on this little chain. This is our hyperlink icon. So we are linking to a URL. And then all I do is paste my URL in that box. And if I click insert link, and then after I save, if they click on this text, they will be able to uh, access that Zoom meeting. I also want to show you how to do that with a picture. So if I go down and insert an image, this is one that I uploaded earlier. Let me just pick one of the ones I already have. So this is my office hours uh, link here. and I'm going to go ahead and update that. Now I want to resize this picture because that's way too big. And that looks wonderful. As long as it's highlighted blue here, you can then click on this same URL, paste, and insert link. That way they can click on either the text or the image to go to your nice Zoom link. Now at the bottom of the page, hit save. And they can click on either one of these to go to that link. Now students would still be able to figure out the information that is there and copy this link, but it's a few extra steps. So it's harder for them to actually get into and just copy paste this into their phone for someone else. So if you would like to do it this way, that is perfectly all right. So hopefully that helped. If you have any other questions, you can ask me or you can ask the tech department. Thank you very much. Bye.